नहीं आज पूरे हिंदुस्तान में ईद का त्यौहार बड़े पैमाने पर मनाया गया हमारे यहाँ लखनऊ की ईदगाह में लाखों की तादाद में लोगों ने शिरकत करके अल्लाह ताला की इबादत की और मुल्क की तमीर तरक्की और अमन के लिए दुआ की उसी के साथ साथ पूरी दुनिया से आतंकवाद और टेररिज्म के खात्मे के लिए खसूस दुआ की गई और इस मौके पर ईदगाह लखनऊ में औरतों के नमाज पढ़ने के लिए स्पेशल अरेंजमेंट किए गए थे जिसका कि बुनियादी मकसद ये है कि हम ये पैगाम दे सकें कि मजहब इस्लाम में मर्द और औरत दोनों को बराबर का दर्जा दिया गया है और इसको एक मिसाल बना करके पूरे हिंदुस्तान में जितनी भी ईदगाहें वहाँ ईद के मौके पर कम अज़ कम औरतों के लिए अलग से नमाज के इंतजाम किए जाए यहाँ के खुद में मैंने वाज तौर पर कहा कि हम लोग यहाँ जो सबसे बड़े इमाम हैं यानी इनके शरीफ इमाम उन्होंने हज के मौके पर अपने खुदबे में आई एस को आई एस को एक गैर इस्लामी और गैर इंसानी तंजीम करार दिया है और कहा है कि आई एस से वाबस्ता लोग कतई तौर पर मुसलमान नहीं हो सकते और उनकी जो भी टेररिस रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज़ हैं वो पूरी तरीके से गैर इस्लामी so the imam there in lucknow sending out a message a special message this time on eid so what we really asking is do these sermons against isis do they really work uh, let me just introduce all our guests this evening we have uh, zakia soman who's a founder member of the bhartiya muslim mahila andolan we also have sofia ashraf you know sofia ashraf from uh, her rap song on kodai canal which went viral uh, sofia ashraf has been Uh, speaking about various social issues like that and we also have Sayyid Tariq Bukhari who is the general secretary of Muslim Majlis Anar uh if i can just start with you Sayyid Tariq Bukhari we heard what the imam there in Lucknow has said that they needed to send out a special message like this did you do that here in Delhi as well and was this done across the country of course uh, we were not only today but uh, uh, the history of dam masjid is always uh, given the message against terrorism against any atrocity wherever has taken place and uh, which have the community is uh, involved uh, because of the terrorism so we we had a clear message we had we had we have and we will inshallah will give the clear message that we are against any such activities whether it is terrorism any type of atrocities on anybody sofia ashraf i wanted to speak with you because you're a communicator you're young uh, a lot of your songs appeal to the young what we've seen the profile of the attackers that we saw in bangladesh they were all young and Uh, I just wanted to ask you as a communicator as someone who connects with the young do you think where we have uh, all these young people getting attracted uh, towards ISIS getting indoctrinated do you think the counter effort over here uh, of imams here in more sending out messages of peace sending out messages against ISIS do you think that counter uh, is effective most definitely i think it is also very necessary for that counter to happen but more than the imam since we are talking about the youth i think it's impossible i mean i think it's important for neo liberal muslims to come out and say that they denounce this i know i have a lot of muslim friends who denounce this but they're not vocal enough about it i think we need more muslims out there on social media to keep talking about how they condemn these incidents It's interesting you say that uh, Sofia Ashraf because a lot of people you hear a lot of this it's all happening on social media and a lot of people who are speaking about this say it's a bit of a burden why is it that just because one is a muslim that they need to talk and condemn this uh, I Zakia Soman where do you stand on this issue that Sofia Ashraf just said you need to condemn it you need to come out and give out this message where do you stand on this Of course uh, I my prayers go out to the families of those who were killed on the day of Eid and there's a problem with any ideology of a political religion you know the ideologies which divide humanity the ideologies which preach hatred the ideologies which preach violence have to be condemned by one and all and we have to co- condemn them loud and clear and in unison so it's very very important that 
ordinary Indians speak out, ordinary Muslims also speak out, and all Indians speak out. It's very, very important. Very important to do that. Arshad Sheikh uh, of the Jamaat e Islam e Hind uh, also joining us now from Pune. Arshad Sheikh, I wanted to ask you a lot of the people who come for Eid prayers, do you have a lot of young there? Uh, and how do you appeal to them? How do you send out this right message to them? See, first of all, we have to address the youth and tell them that the interpretation uh, which the terrorists are making is a complete perversion of Islam. It's not the correct interpretation of Islam. It's completely decontextualized and it is, you know, uh, adhering to a hate uh, program, which is against humanity, which Islam doesn't propagate at all. And in fact, uh, I want to state here that uh, groups like uh, IS are actually, uh, you know, belonging to an ideology uh, called the Kharjites. And uh, this was even uh, prophesized by the uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him that uh, there will arise a people uh, who would recite the Quran, but it would not go beyond their throats as they would, uh, you know, uh, be very uh, perverted and it, it, they would be the worst among the creation and the creatures. So uh, we have to educate the youth and we have to make them understand that they have to adhere to the, to the traditional interpretation of Islam and not by these people who are in a very minuscule minority and who are perverting the minds of the youth.